You see me flying high, oh yeah. Cause I choose to live my life, oh Now but never try to stay in the past, no looking back But if you would've Hi guys, it's Liam here, and today on my channel, I'm going to be doing um, a how to organize slash prepare for the floor for the first day of school. And this is like my sixth or seventh video in this back to school series. I will link my back to school series little thing up in the there if you want to watch my other ones um without further ado let's just get to the video so first off we're gonna start with binders and um i'm gonna have like a camera like i'm going to like be holding the camera like this but like the back camera sometimes just to show you but for right now i have a little setup right here um this is my homework binder i already set most of it up um got papers there but let's just get started so obviously this is mostly self-explain explanatory explanatory you get the gist of what I'm saying. You're going to take it off and you're going to stick it. I prefer to put mine under like here because I'm not going to use it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So that's what I did. That's the first thing. That is as good as it's going to get. Homework binder. There we go. This is good handwriting. You really can't see it because of the glare. Because of that, just to make my room a little brighter than it is. Um, I'm keeping my binders simple this year. Um, in middle school, I kind of decorated it. But most of these are going to either be kept in my hallway locker or in my, um, in my classrooms. Because I only have three. So... Um, I'm going to show you the next thing. I'm going to kind of go by binder form. But, um, I already did this, but I'll, like, rewrite over it. I'll write on this side. Because this side and this side are the same. Even though I haven't started school yet. So. Hold up. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing as in the last clip that I showed you. Um, I'm going to show you, but I need a pen. Like, okay. So, my days are even and odd days. Kind of just like my last school. So, let me see. Even. So, I'm going to end in even. So, since I'm getting used to different periods um, of the day, because I have two less classes in general, and I have one less every day, six, eight, and I prefer to write this on, like, the first, the, if I can show you, the, um period classes just in case you kind of forget how many periods you have and you don't have your schedule but that's what I prefer doing and of course writing even and odd I'm gonna do this a couple more times just to kind of get you used to it so this would be it's very hard looking into a camera doing this so if it's sloppy Okay, so I'm just going to do this last one right here. So that's kind of what, oh, sorry. I 
it's clearly not focusing. So that's what it would look like. Obviously, it would look a lot neater, kind of just like this, but yes. So I'm going to show you a couple of, like, things that I've done. Like, I showed you even, it's even, or this is odd, 2, 4, 6, 8, or same with even, but, like, different numbers, obviously. And then I got to go down. So... Then, once it's been like one or two weeks of school, I started doing odd day, even day, kind of just writing day so I won't forget type thing. And then, um, down the line, I started writing just odds and evens because by this time I should know what in my planner odds and evens means if not I could just go back in time because I'm pretty sure you know you get the gist but I'm just going back to my first page that I need so the next thing especially for your homework binder um let me remove this and put that right here okay for your homework binder, I would suggest putting your schedule in your homework binder. So, like, when you're carrying it around, you know, you can just look. You can just look and say, oh, like, I have my next class is this class. So I'm not going to show you like the full thing, but here it is. Here's the front. I'm not going to make it too jazzy. And then here's where my um, assignments would go. For right now, these are just all the papers for the first day of school. What do I have for the first day of school? For the first day of school, I have English, intensive reading, creative pho photography, and hope. So, this is digital information. Okay, I am missing two. They must be down there. Okay, so, depending on what type of math you have, I would definitely suggest having extra paper. I need to put my paper, because apparently this paper didn't want to cooperate. You always got to have that lined paper, if I can get this. So I separated my both my lined papers, um, both my papers. Here's my lined paper, college ruled, and here's my graph paper. If you guys can see, hold up. Okay, it's focused. Um, I only have graph paper because my teacher, like, my teacher she gave me a list whoa way too bright okay future me edit that um i think i was just too close whatever um she asked she gave us like a supplies list or like i don't know what you would call it and i'll show you in the next it, like when I get to that but I'm pretty much like this folder is going to be for done and also if I don't have enough room here I am also going to have this the two folders for that as well but um I gotta <laughs> grab one right here but for this binder, I really, oh, that's my EOS of ball that rolled and knocked my camera down. Um, I definitely do suggest one of these. I had a binder last year in 8th grade, and I put this as my homework slip, and it worked out perfectly. I had it, excuse me, just in front, and just, I labeled it homework, so... This time around, I'm going to label it homework slip, though, and not homework, because I'm going to be like, homework what? 
because yo girl not the greatest at remembering things. So uh, I just put homework slip on this one. Kind of just like that. And I put the exclamation points because I know I would forget to put my homework in there. So I'm going to put it, it's going to show backwards for you, but I'm going to put it right here. That's where I put it and I'll show you. So that's what I did right there. Homework slip, perfect, got it. Um, a tip that I have for you to put your planner. I'm not sure if I get planners in my school because they didn't really say anything about planners. So I bought one just in case they didn't give me any because I would forget everything. A tip is to, I'm going to show you in the next clip, to kind of like, I guess, quote unquote, pin it in here. I'll show you in the next clip. So I, I would suggest putting it to the page that you need. That way you could just see it and I put it to the side. Um, I do the first hole cause that's the one that I've been using so far and it's there and Flip it and close it and okay so I'm pretty much done with this folder or binder my homework binder so I'm gonna put it to the side and grab my other one so right here I have my stack of binders and note items um I don't know what this is for I didn't again I didn't label it so I'm just going to have to find it. I'm guessing this is my Spanish notebook. And I'm going to be doing the same thing with these um, blank notepads. But I'm going to show you every time just so I have more footage. And here's my note thing. Um, the only thing that I need for Spanish that I don't have because I didn't realize it's a thing where it's a three ring binder, but that is okay because I'm pretty sure you'll get what I'm going to. So I don't have Spanish till my odd day. No, even day, my bad. Even day, even day. Okay, so I'm gonna do it right here. Pretty sure I can do it this way. Um, the only reason why I'm touching the screen is so I can brighten and darkness the places that I want. Um, next, I think it's next, I should not put that there because I'll lose it. So I'm grabbing it and I'm putting it on this edge as pretty as this whole thing is. I'm also bringing a sharpie for the first day of school so if I need to create anything else I put my name on it I have that sharpie for a reason here's details I'm not doing too much um, I'm just gonna sign my name just because I feel like it actually I'm gonna sign it on here
Okay, so I wrote my name on this. I'm finished with this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, put these all in order. I'm guessing this is math from the way, oh no, this is English. This is my English binder. Whoa, this binder is so different from my last binder. Holy crap. This is so bright. Okay, so here is my copy. Okay, we're going to start with the binder as well. No, I don't need that. I'm going to write two at a time. Okay, so here's what I wrote. English one and English one notebook and my name. So the next thing that I gotta do is I'm gonna put the patches or blanks, pages, whatever you wanna call these, same place real quick. Same place as the last one. Outer corner. That's how you do that. I don't really have anything in here that I need. But I'm going to put my slip in this slip. Um, just because it makes it easier. So when I go to put something in, I have the slip. I should put it in my homework binder because that's the one where my planner is. I'm just going to do that the way I need to for a couple seconds. I should have got more organized. I'm kind of just doing this out of what I'm thinking that I should do. So if I forget something, is, is this backwards? No. I meant to say upside down is what I meant to say. Same thing right here got it boom okay so here's my last binder and this is my math binder um i i'm not gonna be doing my english binder like i said i mean my spanish binder but So, since I'm guessing that I'm taking a lot of notes, I got a 5 star for my geometry, just because I think I'm going to be taking lots of notes. Okay, so... I forgot to say I'm Geometry Honors, by the way. Oh, Nart. in the background that is the tv show that my parents are watching out in the living room so yeah same thing i did geometry honors and geometry honors notebook 
Um, I didn't put my name on this one because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to keep this one in my locker. But if I don't, that's why I got an extra pen. I'm going to put it in the little um, panel thing. There's the panel. There we go. And then uh, I'm going to put it, this last sticker on my binder in the same paneling and same place. Here we go. And the reason why I'm putting all my folders, I mean my notebooks, in here is, I think I already said this, but if I didn't, oh well. Um, I'm going to check something and I will get back to you. So this last one is for science, by the way. I don't know what it's called. My science teacher, she didn't give me any like papers, so I forgot about that. So it is called E N Environmental Science That's what it looks like, nothing fancy. Um I'm gonna tell you a little bit of tips, like other tips that I suggest you should do for getting ready for school. Um, I did this this morning and I'm so glad that I did it because I literally wouldn't have gotten up to like 10. Um, depending on like when you get up and if you're like new to something like I'm, I used to get up, I, I used to fall asleep at nine and wake up at seven, but now I have to fall asleep at eight and wake up at 4.45 to get 8 hours and 45 minutes of sleep. So, I suggest you go, like, the first, the last week of school, of summer, or depending on what your last week of school, I mean, summer is, I would suggest you either, if you like to fall asleep early, or if you need a certain, if you're not used to less amount of sleep, like I am, so I suggest you go to bed and wake up at your needs last week of summer. And um, I will. I fell asleep at ten and woke up at six this morning, which is a surprise, um, because I never wake up that early, ever. And I did that. Because my last th my last week of school was, I mean, summer ah. <sighs> is technically this week, which is only three days, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, uh, <laughs> yes. Um, I also suggest you do this because it is easy, fast, and simple. And... If you're like me and you would forget things really fast, I suggest you do this. Um, other things, kind of just like, wake up, I would say at least 45 minutes earlier than you would normally do. Especially for girls, because girls tend to take longer when they grow up, obviously. Um... Have an alarm clock, kind of just stuff like that. Um, I have a whole video for kind of just like tips and tricks, or not like tip and tips and tricks for like. <sighs> Excuse me, again. Um, kind of just like how to survive school life. Um, I put it as how to survive middle school because that's what I just came from. 
I'm going into high school now, so yeah. I think that's going to end the video. Like, subscribe, give it a big thumbs up. Tell me if you like these types of um, videos and see you in my next video. Here, yeah, Rambo.